Exactly, Chris. You know, I don't wear a glove anymore when I play, but today for this outing, I decided to wear one. And uh, no blisters, just uh, toughen up some of the calluses. I wouldn't say it's near impossible. You just have to start early in the day and hope for good weather. And we did have decent weather, a little muggy at times, but we teed off about 6.15 a.m. this morning, and we went after it. It's the 100-hole challenge, and it's just as it sounds. Can you get 100 holes in for charity? It's for kids. You know, we're at a great country club, Sunnybrook, here in Granville. There's a lot of kids in our area who don't have a club like this to go swim in the pool or play golf, something like that. And that's where this event, the Boys and Girls Club and the Youth Commonwealth come in. And I put the two of them together because they've joined forces. Grand Rapids was the largest metro area in the country that did not have a Boys and Girls Club until just recently. And they've joined up with the Youth Commonwealth, which has always been a charity in our area, helping kids out, the police department involved. But now the two have joined forces to help kids in our area get something to do really, whether it's in the summer or after school, whether it's a kid with two parents, whether it's a kid with one parent, they can all take part in the Boys and Girls Club. Take a listen. Brings the national attention. Uh, the Grand Rapids uh, Youth Commonwealth has been around for a long, long time doing great work with the Kids and Cops program. So it was a great opportunity for the Boys and Girls Club to come to Grand Rapids and partner with them. And it's been a great collaboration, and we're really, really happy for it. And everybody I've talked to have asked him it's not just troubled kids. It's kids from two parent homes. It's kids from one parent homes. It's kids from the city. It's kids from the suburbs. You don't have to. Be, you don't have to fit into a box right. to go to this. Right. right? Exactly. Well, we like to say. Uh, you know, a lot of people use the, the, the term or the quote uh, at risk youth, and we say at the Boys and Girls Club, uh, youth that need us the mo most, and that can be anybody. So it's just not trouble kids. Uh, we serve a very diverse group of kids from all over. They come as far as East Kentwood, um, Rockford, uh, right in the inner city, so all over. If you've noticed recently, there's a lot of billboards up with uh, General Wesley Clark and a lot of prominent Americans showing photos of them when they were kids. It's because they're products of the Boys and Girls Club, and they started putting those up when the Boys and Girls Club brought a branch to West Michigan. There are two buildings, two branches in the Grand Rapids area. Again, there's Camp O'Malley. So really, the Boys and Girls Club name just brings a little more uh, clout, a little more star power, I guess you could say, to a product that was already doing good things. And the best part about it, it costs only $5 a year for a kid to join the Boys and Girls Club and uh, they try to slip in some education. They give them things to do, but there's a, a little undertone that maybe the kids don't notice until later on in life that they are learning. If you want to learn more about them or still donate to the 100 Hole Challenge, we have that link on our website at fox17online.com and there are of course links on our Facebook pages as well as a running diary of some of my thoughts during my 100 Hole round today and uh, when we come back later in the show, Christian, we'll talk numbers. We'll tell you how many holes the winner or the person who finished the most got in, how long it took the fastest golfer, and uh, how I scored out there on the course. It sounds good. Today. And we're all interested to find out how your pants are scoring out there. Can we take a look at those again? <laughs> Yeah, I think the pants are doing uh, doing just fine. By the way, I did not golf in the flip flops, but after wearing the golf shoes, you're really in an outing like this today when it's a little damp out. You're, yeah. You figure out, do the dry joys, do the dry shoes really keep you dry? Didn't get too squishy, but I'm glad I took them off to let everything air out. And uh, I think the pants held up pretty well. Yeah, they're looking great. You got the best job in Grand Rapids TV, buddy. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later.